Hello everyone, it's James from Grand Junction Anglers. Today we're out in beautiful Meeker, Colorado. We're fishing the White River. Yeah, I'm actually up here because my mom's in her hip replace, but while she's doing that, I figured I'd get some fishing in. And man, it is a beautiful day out here. It's a little hot, but it's beautiful up here. We are targeting mountain whitefish today. And whew, this looks gorgeous. Well, we'll see you guys when we have some fish. Take care. Well, here's where we're fishing. It's actually farther down there. But. Some real cool stuff here, man. Animal tracks, <laughs> mule deer, pronghorn, mountain lion, moose, black bear, Rocky Mountain elk, and you can see right there it's engraved. That's ah, really cool. At least I think it is, but then again, you know. I find most things either cool or amusing. That's more up here I'm gonna show you guys too. If you ever get a chance, Meeker is a beautiful small town. Children's statues. Well, it's seen on the main street. At least I'm from Grand Junction, so y'all know we got some bizarre statues all along Main Street. So that's our stuff. Haven't really seen too much of that here. I have seen they have a mountain lion and an elk bronze statue here as well. There's the river, and here in a second, I'll show you. Right over there at that gazebo and stuff. That's where the little trout pond is. That's what I have. Designed fish. <laughs> in here too. There's even some more over here. But those are... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now this I didn't know. We have the White River, rainbows, browns, native cutthroat. I didn't know that. Mountain whitefish. So there's four different species of fish you can catch here. Popular local lakes, big beaver, Vaughan Lake, Trappers Lake. I do want to go to Trappers, but I might go to Big Beaver because it's closer. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to come back up here and go to these four lakes. <laughs> and some more fish there. Ah. See you later. Another beautiful day in Colorado. Fishing the rivers. Fishing for mountain whitefish, guys. Ooh. <laughs> hey, we got one. It's a tiny little guy. Right through the top of the mouth. It's tiny, all right. Oh. Little baby, but there we go, guys. Northern Colorado mountain whitefish. Poor little guy's had enough. Just gonna release him real quick. 
Tree's all good to go. There we go. Come on, old guy. There he goes. So we're gonna get hooked back up. Now, I was fishing over at the ponds over there earlier. In case you don't know, up here in Meeker, they have the White River, which has what we just caught, mountain whitefish. And they have a little trout pond up here, stocked with rainbows. Now, I did see, back when I was charging my cameras, there are some pretty good size rainbows. There's some smaller ones, but I did see a good like 20 inch in there. And it's a really shallow pond, so I'm hoping when I go back tonight, I might be able to catch a decent sized rainbow for you. Alright. I'm gonna back cast it out here and. It's dropping along the bottom. Oh, you gotta love Colorado. Is that a bite? No. It's a little hard. It's been a bit since I've ever fished, so. There's a lady and her dogs. That's always lovely. Hello. All right. Well, we'll see you guys when we're back with more fish. <laughs> There's a tiny one that just jumped. I've had a few bites since last time. We caught that smaller guy. But been seeing them jump. Mostly off the of top water. These guys are There's another one. A lot harder to fish than trout, that's for sure. Even though they are in the same trout and salmon family. I've heard people say mountain whitefish are uh, very underrated salmon and species. And I don't know. I've caught one. Hoping to catch a couple more. Country is beautiful. It's one hell of a beautiful day.
Now, the key part to fishing rivers, and especially this here, is very shallow. And, ooh, ooh. <coughs> oh, we got a stick. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that was going to be a good mountain whitefish, but no. It was a freaking stick. <sighs> what I was saying is since the river here is shallow, and from doing my research, mountain whitefish don't really like the faster areas where you'd usually find trout. They like the slightly little deeper pools in the river. I, this isn't really deep. I mean most of this river is the same depth. But it does move slightly. <laughs> and now there's a siren. I wonder what's going on. Uh, it does move slightly slower here than up there where I was fishing before and over there. So they kind of settle up in these little pools in the river. Kind of like how uh, trout, if you're stream fishing, sometimes trout will find deep pockets in the streams and they'll congregate there. And one good thing for mountain whitefish is they don't scare easily. And they kind of pack up. I, I guess not pack, it'd be school. But someone, their dog. They do kind of school up and they're not so easily spooked. So if you catch one, you don't have to worry too much about having to switch locations. Because even if you catch one, it's probably not going to spook the rest of the fish. It's also a warm day today. It's going to be like 86, so... That might affect some of the water temperature and the fish biting. But no, it's... Keep having to reel in because of all these weeds. Let her get a bit farther down the stream there. It's supposed to be a warmer of the day, so I'm hoping whitefish will be better biting off than trout. See you guys here in a bit. Alright. We're just kind of making our way down here, casting. As you can see, it's like a tiny dead mountain white fish there. Poor thing. Ooh. Damn it. I missed that bite. Beautiful day out here. Just kind of walking along the river bank here. Now, I believe the record, or at least the start for a record for whitefish, is 15 inches. 
considering the one I caught earlier is pretty small. He wasn't even eight inches, I think. Trying to catch a record one is probably going to be a challenge. And then the highest record for length is Colorado. <laughs> Has to weigh by weight and length. There are two different categories for that. Ah, my worm's gone. I think the largest record holding one right now is 18 inches. I don't know, to me that seems like a pretty big mountain whitefish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Now, I don't know if those are just minnows or if they're really tiny baby mountain white fish, but the river is teeming with life. There's tons of those little guys. It's all right there. Coming to the shallow so the other fish probably won't eat them. Also feed on the vegetation and insects that come in through here. It's the end of where I can walk from here. And my bait is farther up, so I'm gonna have to walk all the way back over there. <laughs> that was another one that just jumped back to my bait so I can rehook up. Be careful. Don't want to. It's gonna sound mean, but I don't want to pull Jake. Uh, for those who don't know, Jacob Kinsvater, the other owner of Grand Junction Anglers and sometimes co host, last year was fishing up on the Mesa and step wrong and really messed his leg up. So he hasn't really been out fishing. He's got his kids to worry about and has to get surgery. So yeah, that's not good. $20,000 surgery on your knee and stuff, man. This is not fun. All right, my bait's just right up here. Yes, Will? Huh? Get you guys. I'm back fishing, hopefully, some more fish. Real quick, guys, you can see the fish right there. Don't know if it's the same one, but eyes on now. All right. Time to bait up again. Oh. I think his worms are just about done so <laughs> Oh, they're just nasty. Oh. 
All right, we're gonna try going from the top again. Maybe I can try seeing about going up farther, driving, trying to see if there's another access to the river upstream, or since I'm meeker. There's a, I don't know if it's a proper access point, but there's a bridge farther down where I think it gets deeper and I might have some better chance at catching some bigger and hopefully a lot more mountain whitefish up there. <laughs> Whatever that was. A bird or something, I think. An insect. Here early. I'll give it a couple more minutes before calling it quits. I had to give me some lunch and check up on my mom. She's in the hospital up here in the hip replacement, so. Nope. It sucks as white fish have really tiny mouths. Looks like you have this debris on there. That's a really teeny hook. That's, I mean, most people would probably use that for trout size, but I tend to prefer a bit bigger for trout, but I'm not fishing for trout.
Come on. Well, I didn't get skunked, but this is why it's called fishing and not catching. Had a few bites. Caught one. Saw a dead one. <laughs> and saw one swimming, so. Come on, come on. No. Anyways, guys, I know it's a short video. I said I'm up here because of my mom's surgery, so I don't really have all the time in the world to be fishing as much as I'd like to. Unfortunate, but that is how it is. Hey, we had fun, caught some fish, we'll catch you guys later.